In the previous videos, I demonstrated the download and installation of MAMP for Windows and the setup of MAMP. In this video, we look at the tools available from the MAMP start page. When the MAMP web and database servers are running, see the green dots to the right of their names, and the Open Web Start Page button is clicked, the MAMP start page opens in the default browser. This page is not required for web development within MAMP but it does provide quick access to three tools that may be beneficial. These tools are PHP Info, PHP My Admin, and the FAC page. Clicking on the PHP Info button will open the PHP Info page. While there is a lot of data present, its purpose is to tell you what PHP components are present and can be used in the development process. There are two pieces that you will want to be aware of. PDO and MySQL support. With the PHP Info screen open, do Control F for Windows or Command F for Mac. This will open your Find tool. Type PDO and press Enter. You should be shown about 20 occurrences in the file. Press the Enter key or down arrow about 8 times. A heading of PDO should be highlighted and below it should be a small list of drivers installed for two databases, SQLite and MySQL. This means that when we want to write database interactions using PDO, which stands for PHP Data Objects, they will work in our system. Just below the PDO heading is another heading of PDO underscore MySQL. You'll notice that it indicates that the PDO driver for MySQL is present and lists the version number. Finally, scroll all the way back to the top and you'll see a version number of PHP. When this video was made, the version was 7.2.10. That is the most recent version of PHP. This version number is important because as you work with PHP, You'll find that functionality is dependent upon the version of the software. Now let's take a look at the second of our tools, PHP My Admin. At the very top of the page, click the Tools drop-down menu item and then click PHP My Admin. The tool will open in a new tab. PHP My Admin is a very popular database administration tool found in MAMP and many other local development tools but also on many web hosting sites. This will be the tool that you'll use to create and manage proxy clients and databases that will be used as you build and test your website. One very important warning. The databases listed on the left, Information Schema, MySQL, Performance Schema, and SIS, are all necessary for the correct operation of the databases in your system. Do not change anything with any of these existing databases. Close this tab. You should now be looking at the PHP Info page again. Click the FAQ item in the menu bar. This page is only important in that it provides a full list of the tools that are installed as part of the MAMP environment and their versions. You'll also find directions on how to change the MySQL tool password, but you do not need to do this as long as you start the servers when you are developing and testing and stop them when you're done. We will not store anything that is sensitive in our database so there is no need to be overly concerned with changing the password for the database. So this brief overview of the MAMP start page and using it to access these tools comes to an end. The tool that you will be using most often is the PHP My Admin tool and so you'll want to remember how to get to it. That's it for this video. Now that MAMP is installed, set up and you know how to get to the PHP MyAdmin tool, you're set to begin developing using this environment.